Hey guys, it's Manda Panda and I'm back with another custom My Little Pony tutorial and today Applejack is going to be transformed into Pikachu. I'm starting off by removing her cutie mark with a little bit of acetone and since she will be getting all new hair, I need to remove the head. You can do that by grabbing it and twisting it firmly to the side until it pops right out. Applejack's gonna get all new hair today, so we need to remove her original hair. To do that, you have to take out the neck plug. Sometimes the neck plug will come out if you pull it with some pliers or tweezers. And if it doesn't come out this way, then you will need to carefully cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And once it's out, you can see right inside the head where all of the hair is secured. To make it easier for removal, I suggest cutting off all the hair using some big scissors and then use some teeny tiny nail scissors to cut that hair all the way down to the scalp. This makes it a lot easier to pull all the roots out. So she'll look like this. Next, grab some pliers or tweezers, reach inside the head and pull out all of those clumps of hair and glue you might have to scratch inside of the head to loosen it up. And just pull out everything until she's completely bald, just like this and ready to be transformed. Now let's work on the body. I am not gonna give Pikachu a hair tail, so I don't need to remove the neck plug here. I'm gonna cut off the tail with some big scissors, cut it down as short as I possibly can with my smaller scissors, and then press the remaining bit of tail inside of the pony's body just like that. Now the head and the body are ready for customization, but before I start, I am going to press together both ends of this neck plug. I suggest using some pliers or tweezers for this part because you can hurt the tips of your fingers if you press down really hard. And I prefer to do this now because I don't want to lose it later. I'm going to start off by painting Applejack's eyes brown using some acrylic paint. I'm doing this really quickly before I start painting because I am using a green screen and if I don't paint her eyes now, they will continue to be see-through. But I'll clean up the eyes a little bit later. Once the brown has dried, I'm going to work on painting all of her head a gorgeous shade of Pikachu yellow. And for this, I have selected a nail polish called Almost Famous by Color Club. I'm going to take this and completely paint in all of Applejack's head. I'm starting off by very carefully going around her eyes because I do not want to paint those in. And then I will fill in the rest. And this color is going on pretty good. It's a little bit light, a little bit patchy, so it is going to take two coats. So I'm going to let the first coat completely dry and then I'll go in with a second one. And here it is. It looks really, really good. Let's finish up her eyes now. Using a little bit of white acrylic paint, I am going to go back in and define the shape of her eye because I did cover it up with some of that yellow earlier on. And this is going to take two, maybe three coats of white to get really good coverage. Next, I'm going to take two lighter shades of brown and create an ombre effect in her eye. And the last step is taking a very fine paintbrush and drawing her eyelashes back in. So this is going to be a girly version Pikachu. And there you go, the eyes are all done. Switching over to red acrylic paint, I'm drawing in the red circles that Pikachu has on his cheeks, which is where the electricity comes out of. And I'm just drawing these on Applejack. And I'm gonna take a little bit of brown and give Pikachu a cute little button nose. And next, I'm switching over to a nail art pen. And I'm going to sketch out little diagonal lines on both of Pikachu's ears to map out where the black tips are going to be. So I'm starting off in the front and then running it to the back, taking some black nail polish now and filling in the tips black just like Pikachu. 
This is the last step. I'm going to let everything completely dry and then go over it with a clear nail polish top coat to seal all of my work in. I'm going to put that head to the side and let it dry and start working on the body. For the tail here, I want to give her a tail that looks just like Pikachu's in that exact same shape. To do that, I'm going to use Sugru, which is air dry rubber, but you could use air dry clay if you have that on hand. I don't like air dry clay because it does shrink once it dries. So I'm going to take a little ball of Sugru here and roll it out into a long strip. I rolled it out in between two pieces of wax paper for easy removal. Pikachu's tail is just a series of zigzags. It's a bunch of straight lines. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to just freehand the shape. It shouldn't be too hard since the X-Acto knife is gonna give me perfect straight lines. So let's get this cut out. And if you're not good at freehanding like this, you could always trace uh, the tail of a Pikachu toy or you could print out a picture of Pikachu and trace the drawing. I'm gonna let my Sugru dry overnight and once it's completely dried, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with the same Color Club nail polish. Now I'm gonna take that same nail polish and completely cover Applejack's body. And as a customizing hack that I have, I like to put a paintbrush through the tail hole in the back while I'm painting the body. That way I can easily move it without having to touch it and messing up my paint job. So I'm gonna put two coats of the Color Club nail polish, and here it is, it looks really good. Next are Pikachu's little stripes back here. I'm gonna put those in using Folk Art acrylic paint in real brown, and using just a fine-tipped paintbrush, I'm just going to pop those stripes in. Using this same brown, I'm gonna paint the base of Pikachu's tail brown because that's how Pikachu's tail is in the cartoon. I'm going to give Applejack Pikachu a cutie mark of a Pokeball. Using some white acrylic paint, I'm drawing a white circle on the flank. And I'm going to go in with two coats here. And then switch to red paint and color in the top half of that circle. Switching to a finer paintbrush and a little bit of black acrylic paint, I'm going to draw in the line right in between the red and the white. Using my dotting tool, I'm going to dot in one black circle right in the center there and use a toothpick to put in a little tiny white dot right in the middle of the black one. And just like that, Pikachu's body is all done. Now I'm gonna grab my clear nail polish and give the entire body a top coat to seal in all of my work. While that's drying, I'm gonna work on Pikachu's hair. I have Espresso and Golden Goddess from dollyhair.com. These strands are 36 inches and I'm gonna cut them into one quarter length strands. I'm gonna be using my re-rooting tool, which is basically a pronged needle, and you catch the hair right in between those two prongs right there. I like to wrap a plug of hair around my finger and then catch all that hair on the needle tip just like this. Grab the head, decide which hole you want that hair plug to go into, and press it right in like this. And you can see on the inside where the hair has anchored itself in. And you just repeat this process over and over again until Pikachu has a new head of hair. So I'm going to be going in here mostly with Espresso and putting in a few highlights of that pretty golden goddess color. Thank you. 
Once all the hair plugs are in, you have to secure the hair or it will fall out when you try to play with it or style it. I like to use no sew fabric glue and pour a little bit of it directly inside of the pony's head and then use a q-tip to evenly distribute all that glue inside and then I let all of that glue dry overnight. Now I just need to put Pikachu back together. Using some Gorilla Glue, I'm gonna glue the head and the tail back onto the body. Let's check out the finished custom. Here is the Pikachu Applejack mashup. She is adorable. It's a girly version of Pikachu. I think she came out so cute. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you have an idea for my next custom, I would love to hear it let me know down below thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat.